I first realized that political polarization was one of probably the greatest problems of our time when I met my friend Joe. It quickly became clear after our many political conversations that I was liberal and he was conservative. We discussed issues like abortion and gun control and healthcare and climate change. At first our conversations were built out of a lot of anger and provincialism. We took a step back and we realized that the kinds of toxic rhetoric going on between us was exactly what was happening. It was at the time the height of the 2016 election. What if we could create something where young people could have these conversations? It was a very safe place for people to talk and both extremes are respected and it both galvanizes young people to get them interested in politics and get them active in their communities and also gives them appreciation for the other side. To just show everybody that we all want what is best for America and we actually, when you get to the root of it, we don't disagree that much. We want very similar policies. Through all of this, we've seen that there's hope and there's a solution for a more united country. It's fascinating to see people from all over the world come together online on this incredible new Google Hangout. I really hope that Bridge the Divide kind of trickles up in a way so that politicians can see that young people are having these conversations that maybe they feel like they can't have and then it shows them that it's possible that even though we're young and might not be as experienced on policy that it's possible that we can come together and be unified. Golden flash, golden flash, golden flash, golden flash.